Thank you very much for everyone uh, whoever has joined. We will start at uh, seven o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining. Hi, Dina. Hi. Hi, Simran Singh. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening, team. Good evening to meet everyone. Very happy to meet. I'm uh, very, very happy to uh, uh, welcome the team pertaining to SIPAC. We will start at uh, people are joining one by one. Okay. So, hi, uh, Abai. Thank you very much for joining. Hi. So, uh, hi, Mridula. Hi, Mridula. Uh, so, team, we will start at 7 5. Actually, people are joining one by one. Okay. So, uh, for five minutes, let us discuss. Okay. Can you people put it in your chat? Okay. Where are you from? Your name and where are you from? I am uh, Sita Lakshmi Shokmar. I am from Chennai. Okay. Uh, so, can you just put it in the uh, chat box? Where are you from? Whether the voice is clear? Whether my voice is clear? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we are from, oh, Asra from Kashmir. Wow, Jack and to Kashmir, Mumbai, Maharashtra, Kolkata, Goa. Wow, yeah. Hello. Kerala, the God's own uh, place, Pakistan, Haranasi, Rajapalayam, Nepal, Vishrapalli. Wow, great. Varanasi. Varanasi, Nepal. Very nice, very nice. Very nice to see. I think from, uh, uh, as far as India is concerned, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we are having people here. Okay. And uh, we are having many international participants also. Uh, yeah, we are muted. We are muted. Uh, thank you very much. I... So uh, it is seven o'clock. We have to start now. Okay, uh, one fifty-four participants have joined. Okay, 
uh, actually sir is talking ma'am is uh, yet to start talking ma'am i will i will introduce ma'am and ma'am will talk uh, we will give just five more minutes time because uh, people are joining one by one okay i don't want that they should miss the important aspect okay you know i will start then i will introduce uh, some important uh, dignitaries of today okay first let me start okay let me start with this uh, small uh, presentation okay so the simple aspect is the simple aspect is whenever something new happens na uh, people will not accept it so what happened uh, someone introduced the paper see in india how uh, learning was uh, taken place we used to uh, use that uh, leaves isn't it in those days we used to write the write in the leaves isn't it now uh, suddenly uh, someone has introduced a paper okay so people told oh yeah all these things are it will not work it will not work the leaves leaves are better okay but whoever has uh, rejected the paper okay they were not able to go like that there were many uh, inventions there were many discoveries there are many innovations which was completely rejected by people but that has created uh, uh, that has changed the world one of the aspect is uh, telephone okay so uh, this telephone has too many shortcomings to be seriously considered as a means of communication this is what western union internal memo dated 1876 now where we are standing the person who remarked this is good for nothing okay now that we are standing okay so when motor car was introduced okay motor car was introduced in the world i don't believe in the introduction of uh, i don't believe the introduction of motor cars will ever affect the riding of horses okay now uh, uh, in mumbai in the main road okay in delhi kolkata you cannot see horses people are going in horses okay you can see isn't it the wireless music box has no imaginable commercial value who would pay for a message sent to nobody in particular david sarnas associates are rejecting a proposal for investment in the radio in 1920s in 1920s when someone introduced a radio okay people i outrightly rejected it are who will buy it now fm is making so much business isn't it even though television has come fm is still ruling, ruling the world okay who the hell read the word and see who has told it that is a very important aspect who the hell wants to hear actors talk hm warner warner brothers before rejecting a proposal for movies with actors talking okay now uh, take amida bachchan uh, without amida bachchan voice or uh, without the very famous but kitna goliya hai let it uh, we cannot see movies is it we cannot see movies bade bade shehron mein aisi choti choti baat hote rehta hai hai ki nahi so uh, when uh, people introduced aspirin people as just a throwing it was not accepted but today uh, see the aspect when xerox was introduced into the world who the hell wants to copy a document on plain paper rejection letter in 1940 to chester colson inventor of the xerox machine in fact over 20 companies rejected his useless idea between 1939 and 1944 even the national inventors council dismissed it today uh, where xerox is standing we we all know it isn't it now one of the very uh, beautiful idea which was rejected is uh, the courier service when someone started the courier service idea courier service outright it was rejected are yaar who will pay for sending items yaar okay it was uh, summarily rejected then after the rejection only the federal express uh, was started by smith 
there is no reason anyone would want a computer in their home can also president chairman and founder of digital equipment corporation outrightly rejected uh, computer now that we are understanding we are talking over computer <clears throat> this this person introduced a chip okay and it was a ridicule it was ridicule and it was uh, he he has been uh, criticized like anything now can you show even one city without a chip can, can we see one of the person who has uh, seen the rejection more uh, rejection is uh, steve jobs steve jobs when whatever he invented or he, whatever he uh, told na people rejected in the thing okay even famous companies rejected rejection was the one word which has made me to grow that is what uh, steve jobs used to say now uh, what has happened so all these aspects it says one thing that is innovations innovations uh, is going to happen everywhere particularly in psychology particularly in psychology the psychology field particularly is going to see particularly is going to be transformed by artificial intelligence but uh, uh, how many people uh, may be ready to welcome it? okay are ready to change that is a very biggest question now when people first told that actually uh, Uh, only the earth is rotating uh, uh, your cancer okay which was uh, people uh, believe something else okay about the earth and sun when someone told the truth he was burnt alive isn't it when uh, railway was introduced the same thing happened when online classes came people rejected people told that are offline like offline nothing will happen people rejected but today everything is changed everything is changed even the mba programs of bharti das university now uh, iit most of the programs of indian institute of technology and indian institute of management it is uh, happening in online you can get uh, your management degree sitting from your home the uh, the costliest and the very famous uh, mbas you can uh, take it sitting from home so online is going to change the world and particularly psychology and in this respect i am very very happy to introduce to you mr uh, abhay singh uh, abhay singh on sipac i am very very happy to introduce uh, abhay singh he is the pioneer he is the pioneer in creating the psychological uh, assessments completely non see nowadays what happens uh, uh, we want to go for some kind of assessment na the uh, various aspects taking into consideration and uh, suppose if we stood in front of the client and if we are calculating it na we will uh, look nice no he has completely transformed it. he has completely transformed it and uh, today uh, we are going to see the magic of uh, abhay singha and uh, to uh, show the uh, magic we have here uh, mridula mridula from uh, uh, saipa Mridula Sharma from Saipak. She is a MPhil clinical psychologist. Uh, now, Abhay Singhal, few words from you, and uh, then uh, let us go back to Mridula. Uh, Abhay, your mic. Uh, I think uh, okay. One minute. I will. Yeah, yeah. It's now you can talk. Great, great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Shiva sir. Uh, for the warm introduction i am very happy to be here and see so many participants from across the country uh, one thing which you know i have realized over time that change is very constant and we really need to you know to extend the services to a large number of people uh, because with covid and other challenges mental health needs have increased and the only way to you know reach out and support such a wide audience uh, who is seeking mental health support we need technology and that is how you know i am building it uh, and with your support want to reach out to everyone a big hello from you know entire team saipak um, and thank you so much again thank you abhay so abhay is a uh, 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 iim uh, mumbai he, uh, he has graduated from uh, iim iim is it abhay IIT, iit mumbai iit mumbai iit mumbai so indian institute of technology mumbai so really very happy to uh, have you here uh, abhay really you have uh, uh, changed i have uh, i have taken some of the test it's mind blowing it's simply mind blowing 
and i am going i am seeing the change i am seeing the change uh, now over to mridula ma'am uh, mridula she is a clinical psychologist temple she is going to conduct a two online test today and uh, we are all going to exam okay yeah over to mridula hi hi everyone uh, thank you so much for introducing me as well uh, this is really nice to be here am i audible clearly to everyone yes mridula you are audible yeah all right perfect so yeah uh first of all uh, okay um this is you know really nice to be here and uh, as um, you know sir said that technology has changed uh, you know a lot in how we do things in everything so in that respect we are going to talk about two very very important assessments today and i'll share uh, i've uh, prepared uh, you know presentation for you guys so i'll just share that and i really hope that this adds something of value uh, to your uh, you know practice and whatever you do and your knowledge so uh, this is visible to everyone right yes all right all right so yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll be talking about phq 9 and jd 7 okay phq 9 uh, amrutha ma'am can you just open your mic yeah thank you so okay today we are going to talk about two major assessments and these assessments are very very uh, useful and not only used in india but worldwide okay uh, phq 9 as i said is patient health questionnaire it has nine items so we uh, you know uh, say uh, it like that you know phq 9 and jd 7 questionnaire it, it has seven items so we call it as uh, you know jd7 all right so coming to psychometric assessment okay um psychometric assessment is a very very scientific procedure it's very standardized it's very objective okay um it's uh, as we written it's a set of items a psychological test basically you know it is basically a set of items designed to measure characteristics of human being you know if uh you know how fascinating it is to imagine that things that we cannot even see we are able to measure them attitudes um personality um uh, intelligence uh, mental illness uh, in today's time you know um i think uh, coming to uh, you know depression which uh, one of the assessments that uh, measures so there are a lot of uh, you know times that Uh, and recently you know whatever has been happening every year every time you know we lose someone so close to us who is battling with you know things like suicide um and uh, you know other mental illnesses so we find people thinking about you know what if we just knew what was going on in their mind you know if we just knew what was happening you know things would have been very very different if we just uh, knew about that and these symptoms uh, that these people go through they struggle with these are not very easy to assess these are not very easy to recognize because every individual goes through these things very differently these symptoms manifest in very very different ways in these people so uh, you know to know about these things uh, standards like icd uh, you know and dsm uh, they have these categories they have particular common symptoms uh, that are used to make a diagnosis that are used to uh, you know pinpoint that okay these things uh, are present these symptoms are present which may be indicating if you know an individual is going through a particular disorder okay so as i said that different criteria different codes are given okay for example in icd 10 uh, um depression is uh, you know given uh, a mild depression uh, is uh, given a code of f32.0 and dsm 5 it's coded as 296.21 and so on so this just gives us a universal language that uh, you know wherever we are these codes are similar no matter uh, you know uh, what part of the country that we are so these codes remain similar so if an individual is going from one individual to another uh, a practitioner so uh, you know the un- uh, practitioner understands that, okay these uh, symptoms have been there and the common symptoms the typical symptoms that are found in um, any depressive episode are depressed mood loss of interest and enjoyment uh, increased fatigability 
Yeah, these are the typical symptoms. And uh, uh, the other common symptoms are reduced concentration and attention, reduced self-esteem and self-confidence, ideas of guilt and unworthiness, bleak and pessimistic view of future, ideas or acts of self-harm or suicide, disturbed sleep, diminished appetite. So these are the you know, basic symptoms that have been listed by these uh, standards um, that we you know, inquire about. So to know more about these things uh, that, you know, we need particular standards, we need particular norms, we need particular assessments there, uh, you know, these psychometric assessments come into play because otherwise we won't have any way of knowing what is going on in an individual's mind. You won't have any way of measuring that. Okay. Then comes, uh, you know, the role of the psychometric assessment. So uh, when we talk about assessment, so when... Um, uh, we are talking about uh, these depressive tendencies, we can make use of PHQ-9, okay? So uh, these assessments have also been, you know, evolved from previous assessment. There was uh, an assessment which was developed in US around 1990s. It was called Prime MD. So that was, at that point of time in 1990s, uh, uh, you know, there were different uh, disorders which were quite prevalent at that point of time, somatic, depressive, anxiety, uh, you know, eating disorders. So based on that, that prime MD was developed, okay, which further evolved in, uh, you know, PHQ-9, JD-7, which were based on particular norms. Every psychometric assessment have certain norms, certain rules, certain standards that they, uh, you know, fulfill at that point of time. Uh, it was valid for American uh, population, but because it was repeated, it was done in different settings in different countries, which... Uh, you know, made it even valid in our country and other population is still, you know, very, very relevant and it's used worldwide. So it can be used on 13 years and above um, um, population. It is self-administered, which means that uh, the client has to take it himself or herself. Okay. It is clinical in nature and it is a questionnaire. Like psychometric assessments are of different types. Okay. Um, it can be a projective test. It can be a performance-based test. So this is a questionnaire, okay? There, there would be certain questions that the client will have to answer, okay? And because it has only 10 items, so it takes less than five minutes to take it. Uh, the nine item, why I've written it as nine plus one is because nine items are scored and one is not scored, okay? That I'll also come to later. So what purpose that is, does it serve as any psychometric assessment, especially, you know, when we're talking about PHQ-9? It has three functions. Okay, one is to screen for major depressive syndrome and other depressive syndrome. Okay, and um, screen, assess, and monitor. Screen uh, means that you know if there is a, a, you know any depressive tendency. Okay, if it exists or if it doesn't exist. If it is there, uh, then assessing to what level it is there. If it's mild, if it's moderate, if it's severe. So because based on that will form our treatment plan. Based on that will you know further make a work plan for that. Um, and monitoring, okay, this uh, is a very, very important quality of this scale that it is very responsive and it is very sensitive that it can be, uh, you know, monitored, it can be used after a period of time, okay, like after uh, two, after every two weeks we can, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, make use of this assessment. So uh, it has, um, uh, you know, as I said, it has nine items which are scored plus one. That is a qualitative item, and they are scored at a four point. Uh, they are scored at a four point Likert scale, okay, zero to three, and the score ranges from zero to twenty-seven. Okay, this is how the scale looks. This is the scale, and there are, um, you know, scoring is a little tricky because we have to take into consideration a few things. Okay, we'll, when we'll do the assessment. Uh, when I'll, uh, you know, do it alongside you, then we'll know. These are the important things that I'm just sharing beforehand, okay? So if uh, we want to, uh, you know, check the criteria for major depressive syndrome, we have to check if there is, uh, you know, the item one or two um, and five or more items of one to nine are at least, uh, you know, more than half the days. The third option that is there, you know. Uh, so that if that is checked, then the criteria for major depressive syndrome is met. Okay. Uh, coming to if one, two, and two to four items of one to nine are at least more than half the days. We have to make sure that nine items to ninth item is related to suicide, 
self harm so even if uh, ஒரு is still visible to people right yes yes it's visible okay all right so uh, when we'll do the assessment so this will be more clear to us so you know assessments are not as simple as uh, you know, think they are it's not just about uh, calculating uh, you know whatever the score is so it's much more complex than that so we have to be very very mindful of how we are doing the assessment and Uh, how we are calculating it so other important considerations are first of course as i said that when the item uh, you know ninth item is endorsed the societal thoughts um, item we have to always always prioritize that no matter you know there might be other symptoms also but we have to make sure that we are uh, you know catering to that because that is uh, you know more in severity okay other than that the final question the 10th question that is there okay so uh that is related to uh, you know the qualitative aspect uh, the 10th question is how difficult have been made it you to do your work take care of things at home or get along with other people okay uh, this item shows the dysfunctionality uh, you know how all of the other symptoms have uh, you know impaired the day to day living um day to day routine of yours okay so this uh, uh, you know is strongly associated as we have written with both psychiatric symptoms severity as well as uh, multiple measures of impairment and health related quality of life okay and uh, here you also have to make sure that we are ruling out normal bereavement okay like if there is something major has happened in an individual's life for example if someone has lost someone recently very recently so you know that is of course an individual would be sad at that point of time so that does not mean that that individual is going through uh, you know some disorder or something so that we always have to be mindful of or if there is a history of manic episodes and then the diagnosis would automatically change to you know a bipolar uh, tendency so we have to make sure that there isn't a history of manic episode uh, a physical disorder or you know if uh, the individual is taking any other medication which may have uh, some side effects so that also we have to make sure of and also because the questionnaire relies on client self report as i said this is self administered so uh, you know it's very important that it's verified by the clinician as well because these tools are for clinicians to you know make use of so we have to see that uh, you know for a definitive diagnosis we have to take uh, into the decision how well the client understood the questionnaire okay as well as other relevant information that we have to take from the client okay um other than that sensitivity uh, you know as i said sensitivity means that you know over a period of time how relevant is still the uh, questionnaire okay so this has a really high sensitivity that you can repeat it over time and still would yield you valid results like can be repeated every fort- fortnight that mean every two week you can uh, you know make use of that so uh, i think i'll just share i'll just uh, do the assessment for you first and i think it would be uh, you know helpful for us to see how these uh, assessments are and will go through uh, the items one by one uh, so you can go to uh, yeah. mrudula ma'am yes sir yeah yeah ma'am uh, uh, now we are going to show the side pack that uh, aspect na ma'am yes sir yes sir yeah so uh, if your voice is breaking i will also get to you ma'am no problem i will also be able to tell all right okay. so now we are going into the side pack see the questionnaire which ma'am has so far indicated this is the test which we undertake which we uh, this is the test we administer to understand whether a particular person is having 
certain uh, aspects okay so uh, what are the aspects to be uh, uh, taken care of what are the how it has to be administered all these aspects are there now in online it is it has been very much simplified okay what we will be doing is suppose if you are a, a practitioner okay if you are a practitioner what you will be doing is you will be going inside the sitepac uh, uh, a website okay you will be going inside the sitepac website uh mrudula ma'am shall i finish it ma'am then you can show it sure sure yeah so what you will be doing is see think you will be going into a ww which we are going to do it now okay we are going to do it now uh and mrudula ma'am also will show you just i am telling you what is to be done. now for example last week last week we had a i had a client so for the client we have used this what we did first we uh, went to do the website www.sipac.com okay we went we have uh, registered i sir i i have registered myself as a practitioner i have registered myself okay after registration you will be getting uh, the various uh, test which is available in sipac okay in that the phq name that is what we were, we wanted to uh, give because the girl was having uh, the girl was not able to sleep actually uh, she was having some uh, she was having love pain she was in deep uh, a love with a boy for a period of 4 years she was loving a boy for 4 years and that boy uh, at some point of time he did so uh, she, uh, she was not able to sleep uh there were mul there were uh, multiple uh, symptoms okay there were multiple symptoms uh, pertaining to anxiety and depression okay all these aspects so we will have to understand the severity of it severity of it and also we have to understand about uh, uh, how is she actually so we have administered this how we administered i went inside okay after going inside i will be able to select the assessment see if you see here select the assessment i will be able to select the assessment and i will be able to select the email id of the client nowadays everybody see whoever is if somebody is coming for counseling definitely they may be uh, they may know about computer see a person who doesn't know about computer a person uh, uh, doesn't know about mobile maybe uh, they may they may not come to counseling at all if a person is coming for uh, counseling that means he must be having a email id and he must be knowing it for example the girl who uh, came here okay uh, even though she was uh, in uh, uh, she was in college uh, second year okay so uh, she was having the email id so i entered the email id here okay after entering the email id here i i have given uh, initiate the moment i gave uh, i give initiate okay what happens is the questionnaire will be going to the individual so uh, i will uh, take a, a, a name suppose for example victoria okay the moment i have chosen name the initiated it the questionnaire goes to uh, victoria now the uh, questionnaire uh, victoria uh, she opened actually in front of me itself okay all these things it has happened in front of me okay she opened in her mobile okay and there were questions okay there were questions there were aspects uh, given them okay now as far as the, all these assessments are concerned sometimes if the client knows it he himself will feel it or if he doesn't know it uh, psycho education that we will be uh, we can also tell what is wrong so uh, the questionnaire consists of very simple language how it has to be done okay they have to just uh, select what is that they feel they will have to select after selecting it they have to submit the button when they submit the button the complete uh, uh, the report now it will come to my uh, uh, what do you call uh, my email id so they will also get now that you have submitted the uh, questionnaire the report has been sent to the clinician please kindly get in touch with the clinician now this test you can uh, have you can conduct when the uh, client is in front of you also you can conduct okay so immediately it will come to you you can open you can open and you can see you can see the complete report whatever you will be uh, whatever sometimes you may not be doing when you are doing it in on paper okay 
all those aspects are coming in the report the those aspects will uh, murdula will be showing you now okay showing you now so the report has come to me based on the report we started uh, giving uh, counseling to okay today was the fifth day in the counseling today also the same girl we did the counseling now uh, murdula ma'am will be showing you how this uh, aspects happen it all happens it uh, takes only 3 to 4 minutes which you people also will be doing it after uh, ma'am uh, tells murdula ma'am you can show it ma'am sure so as sir said i've just selected the assessment from here and i put in the email address i put up uh, my email address only so i initiated and then it would come in history okay and then i clicked on this uh, take assessment and i filled my demographics already so this is how the screen will look so uh, this is the instruction that we'll be getting so there are two sections as i said you know there are 9 plus 1 questions so these are the instructions so i will be presented nine questions and this is one of the most important aspect of phq 9 also because it focuses on the duration of the severity as well okay not just the uh, severity but since when have you been feeling this way so this two week is also very important when we are making a screening when we are doing a diagnosis duration plays a very very important role so we will go forward okay the first item is little interest or pleasure in doing things okay let's say that uh, you know i am a client and i have been feeling you know this uh, more than half the days okay feeling down depressed or hopeless trouble falling or staying asleep or sleeping too much nearly every day client doesn't feel like waking up doesn't feel like doing anything feeling tired or having little energy nearly every day poor appetite or overeating more than half the days let's say feeling bad about yourself or that you are a failure or have let yourself or your family down let's say several days trouble concentrating on things such as reading the newspaper or watching television let's say more than half the days moving or speaking so slowly that other people could have noticed or the opposite being so fidgety or restless that you uh, have been moving around a lot more than usual let's say more than half days i've been feeling like this this is the self harm question thought that you would be better off dead or of hurting yourself in some way let's say i feel like that you know more than half the days so this is the section 2 Uh, these are the instructions for the last tenth question. Select the option that best describes your impression with regard to problem you checked off in the previous nine questions. If you checked off any problems, how difficult have these problems made it for you to do your work, take care of things at home, or get along with other people? let's say you know considering what all i have been going through that i did in last nine questions it has been you know very difficult for me like i am able to go through but it still have been very very difficult for me so i have put in all the answers and i've just submitted so i can close the tab and i can come back to the history again it has gone to the authorized uh, uh, client so it has gone to uh, the clinician in my case yeah. it has come to yeah so because i had initiated so i would have the option of viewing the report also so we'll just go through the report it's, it's automated so i'll uh, immediately have the report as well with me so let's just see the report whatever i'd put in coming to the results directly uh, it seems like uh, you know i um moderately severe uh, you know the severity is at moderately severe level and i had scored a 19 okay uh the criteria for major depressive syndrome is met what i uh, you know discussed earlier that one or second uh, you know this is this is what we discussed so it has come in the report that criteria for major depressive syndrome is met and i have you know i take the suicide item so that also the results have highlighted the client had endorsed item 9 so we need to you know check further on this 
client's respond, response with respect to question 10, this is a qualitative question, which represents client's global impression of symptom-related impairment is very difficult that I pointed out. So this is how the graph looks, okay? If it is green, so it would mean that, you know, the symptoms are very less, uh, but, and red would mean it's really high. Here, uh, you know, my symptoms are moderately severe. So it's, uh, you know, this color represents the same. So these are the item wise scores. Red means, uh, you know, it's nearly every day I've been feeling that. This is how the result looks. These are all the items that we had, uh, uh, you know, scored in this way. So this is the uh, interpretation table. Zero to four means none or minimal. Five to nine score means mild. 10 to 14 means moderate. 15 to 19 means moderately severe, 20 to 27 means severe, okay? Um, this is the general score range, but again, we have to keep in mind the criteria for, uh, uh, you know, this major depressive syndrome, which is here automatically uh, scored for us. Uh, and we have to uh, make sure to see the checkpoint 10, okay? A cutoff of 10 means there's a yellow flag that this, uh, individual needs, this client needs attention, okay? It could be clinically significant, but if there's a cut point of 15, it means it's a red flag. The individual needs a uh, clinical attention, okay? So there are certain recommendations in the report itself, and there's some general recommendations also that uh, the client can make use of this report, uh, you know, which is, um, which the client can see. It also has general recommendations in psychoeducation. So what all you can do on your part to uh, make yourself feel better, do yourself kind of thing and psychoeducation because, uh, you know, people, as I said earlier, experience these symptoms in very different ways. So understanding what is actually happening with them and what uh, depression means in layman terms. So all of these things. Okay. So this is how the report looks. Yeah. Abhrithala, one minute. Abhrithala, can yes, you uh, just uh, take it to the top? So, T, here, actually, how it is uh, helping uh, the clinician, how it is uh, helpful to the psychologist, okay? So, the uh, simple aspect is, one of the uh, uh, best aspect in the report is, okay, see, uh, as a student, suppose, for example, there are many students, okay? When a student uh, does some psychological assessment, when they write case history, mostly they get issues uh, when they are writing the interventions. When they want to write interventions or when they want to write, uh, when they want to understand how to uh, proceed, how to proceed. That is the first thing. The second thing, mostly what I have said is people are not able to psychoeducate the client properly. One of the major aspects. See, uh, psychoeducation is not a very simple aspect. Psychoeducation, it is one of the very, very important aspect because unless and until we give the uh, psychoeducation properly, the client will not understand why it is being administered. And this is not being administered only once. Okay. For example, I, the girl who came to me on the first day, okay. I administered the test three times. The same test three times. Why? To see whether is there any uh, reduction, whether, the, whether any, uh, uh, anywhere, whether the, uh, whatever uh, we want, what, uh, whatever as a psychologist, whatever the end point which I want, which, which is being reflected on paper. See, when we uh, talk with the people, now, they will tell, sir, now I feel quite okay. Okay, that they may tell. But when they write it in the questionnaire only, they will be able to understand, they will be able to tell whether certain thoughts, whether it occurs regularly, whether they are able to sleep properly. Okay, so the first day, second day, third day, okay, whether any changes are there. If changes are there, that means uh, my treatment is going well. As a psychologist, you are giving counseling. When you give counseling, you should know that whether it is uh, uh, whether it is going properly. How you will know it? When you apply this, 
the graph portion, particularly the graph portion, if it is reducing, if it is reducing, that itself will show you that the client is progressing. So certain aspect, the visual aspect, it will uh, give you a very clear picture. These all are the aspects you cannot do it in the paper pencil. Suppose I'm giving the paper and I'm giving to the client, okay, and uh, he is filling it up. Uh, the way in which I visually represent, the way in which, just like that I'm saying, that has uh, many, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, difference. Only because of this, even if you go to a medical doctor now, they are all using completely, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 computer. See, uh, once upon a time, people will be giving the prescription. Nah? Now, who gives the prescription? Everything is on. Everything is on, right? The doctor will be able to see the changes or the growth or the uh, elimination of the symptoms in the uh, computer itself. Because everything is spread in the computer. Now, here, we will be able to see it very clearly. For example, this uh, all these aspects, it comes with the... Assessment description. For example, what is this assessment? See, most of the time when we uh, when we uh, give a report, now particularly for students, there are many instruments. Most of the students used to tell me, sir, how many tests are? How many psychological? What what test uh, I have to give, or what test what it does? Keeping all these things in memory, it remains uh, particularly uh, some uh, some point of time for the student. Particularly for uh, UG students or PG first year, second year, it seems to be a little bit of a difficult task. And there, uh, this comes very handy. This comes in very handy because when you can, as a student, you can fill it in several ways and see what the result comes. And you will be able to interpret. Suppose if there are two students, I will rate it like this and I, uh, 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 I will be able to interpret. Uh, can you interpret it? And she will do it and I will interpret. When I do it two or three times, nah, I will be able to uh, tell everything. So it consists of the title. It consists of the definition. What is the definition? Where is that it is uh, used? How is that it is, it is used? What is the science behind this? Okay. How uh, the standardization? Because these are all standardized question here. It is not that you simply you have some... Uh, uh, a test in the online nah? uh, for uh, whether you are uh, you, uh, in your finger, if this finger is uh, uh, this much, uh, then you are having this personality. If your hand is like this, your personality is like this. It is not like this test. It is, it is all standardized test and it is having the definition. Eligibility, to whom it has to be given? Eligibility, the time estimate, what is the time? Now here, one of the uh, uh, online, one of the uh, best aspect is when the client is going through, you will be able to suppose if they are vernacular people, you will be able to give them the equal. You can tell because you are also seeing it. Now you will be able to uh, give the vernacular and they will be able to uh, understand it very clearly. Then attribution, attribution, then license. All these aspects are very clearly mentioned which is a boom to the student because the student will be able to understand all these aspects very clear. So uh, uh, right from the above, if you see assessment procedure, now we are seeing a very simple, uh, uh, not a simple, actually this is also very, uh, 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 very much uh, calculative and very much uh, uh, difficult one, but the questionnaire is only nine, but there are certain questionnaires which is having more number of questions, more number of interpretations, more uh, aspects. Definitely the psychology students at some point of time, they get uh, confusion. For example, take the case of a personality uh, test by ISAC. Okay, so assessment description, purpose of evaluation, assessment procedure, uh, research evaluation, everything is there. Uh, Mithra, ma'am, can you just uh, come down to the uh, last one, ma'am? That is psychoeducation and uh, yeah. Now the general recommendation. See the general recommendation. It helps the student and the psychologist and counselor in a very great way. For example, the first one. Suppose, for example, I am reading this. Talk to someone you trust about your feelings. Most people feel better after talking to someone who cares about them. See, for example, 
you are uh, giving this test on remote. Okay, you are giving this uh, test on remote. Suppose somebody is in uh, Kanyakumari. Okay, and uh, uh, somebody uh, says, sir, I am not able to say, okay, I am uh, administering a test. Kindly attend me. They are attending it. If they are educated, they will uh, go through all these recommendations. Now, seek professional help. Your local healthcare worker or doctor is a good place to start. So, here, actually, it clearly says, go to a, a, a psychologist. That is, your professional healthcare provider. Okay, when you feel any of the symptoms, suppose if it is in brain. Remember that with the right help, you can get better. Keep up with the activities that you used to enjoy when you were well. See, these are the very important aspects. Okay, the general recommendation, even as a, a psychologist, even uh, yesterday, uh, the first day the girl attended, I asked the girl to read all these things. I asked the girl to read all these things. And I asked her, what is the general recommendation says uh, to you, please tell me. Because this helps me in understanding how much she has understood. Only when she understands, she will be uh, doing it. For example, stick to regular eating and sleeping habits. What is written there? Sir, uh, I have to stick to my uh, regular eating and uh, sleeping habits. Okay. What is your sleeping habit? Usually before this uh, love affair started, when the love affair was going very well, uh, how that you used to sleep? Sir, I used to sleep from uh, night, uh, 10 o'clock to morning 5 o'clock. Okay. Now what happens? Now up to uh, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, I am awake. What is that you will be doing? So I will be in WhatsApp. What is that you will be doing in the WhatsApp? I will be expecting a message from you. Okay. Now that has to be reduced. Now the general recommendation when you discuss with the client, you know exactly where is the problem and what is the recommendation or what is the aspect I should give to the client. Now all these aspects, okay, accept that you might have uh, you might have depression and adjust your expectations. You may not be able to accomplish as much as you do usually. So uh, you have to reduce it uh, slowly. You have to reduce it slowly. Suppose the moment you are having, uh, you feel uh, so much depression. Don't worry. Don't worry. The healthcare is healthcare people are there. Okay. Uh, if you feel so sad, I'll contact someone for help immediately. This is very very important because uh, last week I was doing a counseling. The first aspect I asked is when the uh, uh, when we started the counseling. Do you uh, feel any kind of negative thinking? Sir, negative thinking means what you mean, sir? Negative thinking means uh, what kind of negative thinking you are getting? You please tell me. Uh, he started telling. So there was no suicide tendency. Then I asked him, okay, so uh, do you uh, feel like this? Uh, sir, no, sir, I don't have any such pain. Okay. Then when we administer the test also, I check the class check. See, when I ask, he is telling something. Because on the face, people may uh, may not tell sometimes. Okay. But in the questionnaire, they may write it. Because they wanted to see the results. They may give the, uh, 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 what is that they actually feel they may give. So this is the general recommendation. It helps the uh, student, the counselor, the psychologist to the core. And more than that, the psychoeducation. The psychoeducation part, that is one of the wonderful parts. Uh, because... See, when I used to conduct the CBT session, okay, when I used to conduct the CBT session, I used to devote four days for this psychoeducation because the, uh, the moment I am completing my pitch, okay, I am getting a client. So the client, I have to psychoeducate. Do you people think that it is very easy? It is one of the toughest aspects because I have to change my language I have to change the way in which I talk to his uh, level. I have to give his own examples. Okay, I should not give some examples which is available in uh, what do you call, uh, the high uh, aspect without using technical jargon. I should be able to uh, psychoeducate. Mostly when we conduct the session, I have seen even the experienced people, they will not be able to tell what they have to start first and what they have to tell second. They may not in, during psychoeducation. Nowadays, psychoeducation is part and parcel of cognitive behavior therapy, rational emotive behavior therapy, motivational interviewing, solution focused therapy, all these therapies. 
one of the fundamental is psychoeducation psychoeducation if it has to happen the therapist should know what i should talk first and what i should uh, talk second now students how they will be able to learn it see only when you start doing this all these things you can learn na so this is a good for the student this is what you have to uh, a psycho educate you have to psycho educate the uh, uh, client this uh, tells us very clearly more than that if you come up below uh, uh, you have uh, uh, you have the practitioner notes you can uh, download the pdf and uh, uh, the all these aspects it is the general everything is available it is really a good uh, for the students particularly the graph we will be able to uh, what do you call interpret the results when we are seeing something visual for example now the color okay now uh, three days continuously i gave this a test to the girl i will show the report to you people also okay now what has happened was i was uh, able to see actually when she came it was moderate okay it was moderate then the second day also it stayed in moderate the second day also stayed in moderate third day when she came today when i applied it has come to mind so there is a group which i will be able to see just by looking at this just by looking at this and then i can ask appropriate questions okay so uh, i think uh, uh, yesterday you did something different uh, compared to day before yesterday i think yesterday you did something uh, more what is that you did sir yesterday i went to temple sir oh very nice so you went to temple then uh, so you felt so comfortable yes so do uh, one thing uh, today also go to temple okay today also go to temple see see say to always eats now when you know that day before yesterday it stayed in moderate but today it has come to mind what is the reason why that it has come to uh, uh, mind now only when i when i have this data i will be able to question otherwise uh, i don't have the data to ask na in these aspects the questionnaire and the interpretation it is just like suppose if i am giving a questionnaire paper questionnaire if i am giving all these aspects we will not be able to get na this is one of the uh, uh, a beautiful aspect so mrithula ma'am have i missed something ma'am no no sir you explained it very beautifully and what you said i can show also you know what sir is talking about tracking the progress so this is you know i have taken the assessment uh, you know multiple times so this is how it shows uh, when the uh, you know how when i took it earlier it was moderately severe when i took it uh, you know after that it was severe and how this has changed over time so when we apply any uh, treatment module any particular uh, process that we are doing so we'll be able to see that how this course changes over time and then we'll know you know sometimes as sir said ki uh, you know by just by looking at people we are not able to understand if they're improving if they're not improving they may say that they have improved but uh, when they actually take the assessment so there might not be any improvement so we have to see accordingly and change our processes our treatment modalities accordingly so this is very helpful so you can also take the assessment uh, by yourself and see yeah okay uh, so uh, team we have uh, completed the first assessment how many of you want to uh, do the assessment on your own and see now i open the mic i i will open the mic okay uh, i will uh, take the question one by one okay i will take the question one by one amrutala ma'am shall we ask them to attend the test now ma'am amrutala ma'am amrutala ma'am yeah uh, i have opened the mic uh, yes, i think people have some uh, doubts mrithula ma'am shall we ask them to take the test now yeah yeah they can take the test acha okay so uh, uh, first let me take a question one by one okay lakshmi lakshmi please go ahead lakshmi lakshmi please go ahead Uh, Mrithula ma'am, can you just uh, take out the uh, uh, slide, uh, the presentation, ma'am? We will uh, discuss under. Sure. Yeah. 
so uh, i will take some questions then we will do the questionnaire actually okay we will do it and see uh now we will be waiting here we will be waiting here okay uh so uh first let me take questions from two people then we will decide what what we can do uh, yeah lakshmi yeah pushpa uh, what is what is the question you have you can ask I have opened the mic. I sir, can I speak? Sir? Yeah, yeah Sindhu, please go ahead, Sindhu. Sir, your session, what you have told, it's uh, more important to in today's days. Uh, what you have, uh, uh, question, question are you, what you have done, it's so super, sir. That uh, talking to anyone, it may shy, but the computer will detect everything and they, it will give the report, right? It's super, sir. Thank you. It may help a lot for every everyone. Thank you very much. So, any questions? So we, any questions? Yes, sir. Any, sir how thank, you, apply, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How thank to you, apply sir. this one? Yeah, that we will uh, tell it. Any, any, uh, anyone else? Any questions? Yeah, Nita, please sir, go ahead. Right. Yeah, Nita, Nita, Nita will go ahead. Then I will come to Sir, sir good Nita. evening. Yeah. So it may be possible that uh, initially the client wo would not be uh, very, you know, uh, free to give all the answers properly, correctly. You can say. Maybe uh, she'll do, uh, she'll write something else, huh? running on her mind, something else. But uh, is it, is will... what, Nita, yes. the moment, uh, yesterday someone entered my office, okay. The moment they entered my office, I pushed them into my computer, asked them to take the test, take the test, take the test, take the test. Take the test. Then what you tell will happen. I didn't, we don't do like that. We take them to the hall, we create rapo. We smile like the smile which you are you are smiling now. Like this, we smile at them. We make them comfortable. We talk with them, isn't it? Then we will be administering. So, Nita, definitely uh, uh, see anywhere the subjective bias, the subjective bias, even when you are doing through paper and pencil, when you are doing through any means, it will be there. But that is where the computer comes in handy because. Uh, what I answered yesterday and what I answered today, I will be able to, uh, the computer will tell, isn't it? See, uh, uh, maybe if I am taking the paper, I kept it somewhere. Okay. Why all the medical records nowadays it has become computerized? Your own medical record. How many medical records you are having? You might have taken blood test. How many blood test report which you take for your own self, you have kept it uh, properly. We don't have none. But here all those problems are not there. And the client will be, one more aspect is, the client, uh, uh, suppose after three or four months when they come, okay, when they see, when we show their own uh, history, nah, uh, that how they have recovered, they get more confidence. Yeah, Sundaraman. With Sundaraman, I will finish and we will do the test. Yeah. Sir, uh, this psychometric, this psych assessment will help us to find the drug addiction level for a, for a person who is drug addicted. There are person. many tests. Uh, Kerry Sundaram, uh, uh, Sundaraman, today we did uh, one test, okay, actually we wanted to do two tests, okay, one more test also we wanted to do, okay. but uh, 235 people uh, only now, okay, because today is Bakrit, okay, now what we will do is, uh, we will uh, take the test and see, uh, now please put it in the chat box team, whether you would like to take the test now uh, and see, see it for your own self, are you ready to, uh, I will guide you how to take the test. The chat, yes, the chat is disabled. The chat is disabled for everyone. Achha, I, will, uh, I will open the chat. I will open the chat. Okay. If you are ready to practice now, sir, please put Y. Please put Y. Sir, and how? So it's not boring, now. Sundaraman. Very, very interesting, sir. Uh, very interesting. I wanted to know how to proceed on this uh, on the psych pack. How to go further? Yeah, I, 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 I just, just, guide just guide us to the next level. You have to guide it. Yeah, just I'm sharing it now, all the information. Okay. Uh, Raza, any sir. other questions which people have not asked? Him? Any sir, specific sir. question? Yeah, sa uh, Sadhana Maurya. Sadhana Maurya. Yes, yeah, sir, I have a one question. Just, yeah. Sir, on side, uh, they, whatever questionnaire are there, they have a different language or only in English? Mostly time only people are coming there. Yeah, only in English. Uh, only in English. Okay. But uh, see, today uh, your girl came now. She was uh, from Tamil media. Okay, she was from Tamil media. Uh, uh, see, even if you are giving paper and pencil testament test, okay, 
If the client doesn't know the language, you'll have to tell it, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, team, what we will do is, uh, I am sharing the website, okay, www. Uh, don't go to the website now itself, okay. I'm telling you what is to be done, okay. So, later you can do, sir. One minute, one minute, one minute. Okay. One minute. One minute, Sindhu, one minute. I have typed the website name www.sipac.com. Okay. Now, you should have two mail IDs. You will be able to check it now. Now itself, you, can, you will be able to do it. But you should have two mail IDs. Okay. For example, one email ID. First, you have to go and register. Okay. You have to go and register. Okay. You have to go and register. After registering it, I will show you the process. Okay, I will show you the process. I will show you the process. It's very easy. It is very, very simple. Okay. Even a uh, LKG student will be able to do it. Very simple. Okay. Now see, go to sitepack.com. Okay. Go to sitepack.com. Okay. You will be getting this, uh, this page. Okay. You will be getting this page. Okay. Now go to practitioner sign. Okay. Or uh, if you are having the uh, already if you have created a signing, otherwise, first time when you are doing create account. You create account. To create account, you can create it through Google. Okay. Now I am signing it uh, up with Google. Okay. Click Google. And uh, you have to click this also. Uh, this two box. Okay. You have to click in. Okay. Then sign up with Google. Okay. When you sign up with the Google, it will take you to the page. Okay. For example, I am choosing this particular email. Okay. Now I am signed in. I am signed. In. Okay. Now, now select the free one. Select the free one. Okay. Now congratulations on getting your site back. Go to the dashboard. Go to the dashboard. Now. Select the assessment. What is the assessment which we have did now? Patient health questionnaire. Nine. This is what we have done. Now your client email address you have to type. Now you should have one more email ID. Okay. For example, I am typing uh, uh, NLP dynamic. Okay. I am typing uh, one more. Uh, okay. So for example, I am typing my. Okay. So this is my client. Okay. This is my client. Okay. The moment I click, it comes here. Okay, then initiate. When I initiate, okay, what happens is the questionnaire is sent to the mail ID which I have uh, given. Okay, the questionnaire is sent to uh, the email ID which I have given. I will show you that. I will show you. Okay, I will show you that also. See here. This is the mail ID. Assessments. Okay. Shivaswami Shivakumar has invited you to take PHQ 9 assessment. I'm going inside. Okay. Click here to take the assessment. I'm clicking here. Okay. I have to click here and I have to fill the details because from these details only it will take uh, the aspects. Uh, so uh, the client will fill up the details and proceed. For example, Siva. Okay. Then uh, date of birth. Okay. Two five nineteen seventy one. Okay, city Chennai. Chennai. It automatically comes Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Okay. Then I'll be giving my uh, phone number. Okay. <laughs> phone number. Mail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please mute your call team. Relationship status. Okay. For example, married. Now I can uh, see in the relationship status. I can choose so many aspects this will uh, really give me some good amount of information when i'm doing counseling then bachelor's degree the education qualification that also will give uh, uh, a very good uh, uh, very good information when i do counseling proceed now whatever uh, mudra man has shown the questionnaire has come i have to answer i have to answer now as a as a now I am a client I am answering 
Okay. I'm answering. Okay. Now, when I was doing with my client, it took a little bit time because I have to tell her. Then she will uh, now submit. When I submit, assessment complete, reports will be transmitted to the authorized recipient. Who is the authorized recipient? The hypno. So, uh, if I go to my own uh, aspect, the report would have come. For example, now you will be able to see the report. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, my hypno MOCAD one. Okay. I'm going to the main. See, Siva PHQ report is ready. The report. Okay. Click here to view the report. Now, the moment I open, first I will go to the, what do you call, the graphic rep representative. So it is severe. So first I, I will have to see this. When I see this, the first thing what I have to see is whether uh, where the individual stays. That gives me a very good uh, aspect how that I have to handle this particular client. Now I should be very careful with this client. That is. I should be careful means uh, I should ask appropriate questions and I should see that if it is very severe, I should send them to a psychiatrist because today night he has to sleep. He has to sleep. So we have to, because uh, uh, even a clinical psychologist cannot give, uh, cannot, cannot prescribe drugs, isn't it? I cannot uh, give any tablet to the client. So we have to uh, send the client to the uh, doctor. This will give a very good information to me where he stays. Suppose, for example, it is a green, I myself can handle. I can handle. Suppose if it is mild, I can handle. Moderate, maybe. I will have to take the help of someone, maybe. Maybe. Moderately severe and severe. Immediately refer to the psychiatrist for taking tablets because he has to sleep for two weeks. Now, this gives me a very good uh, aspect. See? Now, all these questions. As ma'am said, okay, uh, I, I can see uh, certain questions. Uh, what are the questions which uh, they have given? This ring. Okay, this will give me very, very good indication uh, how that I have to uh, handle the person. So it gives the complete aspects. So uh, now, after the training program, I think, Mrithula uh, ma'am, it is already 18. We will uh, do the other uh, assessment uh, maybe uh, some other day, okay, to the people. Now, uh, can you people say uh, how is uh, the test? Uh, whether it is easy, uh, whether it will really help the counselors? I told you technology. This is complete technology. Sir, I have one it's clarification, sir. I have one clarification. Can you yeah. show how to register or uh, can you show how to fill up our... Uh, Data that is our data, personal information. Uh, where will you go and fill it up? Uh, when you go and register itself, it will come. Uh, KB, uh, no, KB, no, sir. I used it to my email ID, so automatically I thought it, it has got registered through my email ID when I logged it. Then you have to give your uh, uh, client client email okay. ID. Then I got it. Go and check in the client email ID. The client email. No, I... KB only the client will have to give all the details. You need not give whether you are married, okay? Yes. The, the computer doesn't bother whether the therapist, whether he is married, whether he is the divorcee, okay. <laughs> whether he is having fight okay. with the husband or wife. Okay. Okay. Whether the okay. therapist is having or not, the computer doesn't bother. The computer okay. bothers whether the uh, uh, client is having. The therapist, okay. uh, no. Yeah. Uh, can anyone it. give your oral feedback? Uh, anyone? Very good, oh, sir. Yes. Very helpful. Very helpful, sir. Very helpful. Hi, good yeah. evening. Yeah. Hi, good evening. Uh, can yeah. I ask a question to uh, Mridula over here, please, the psychologist? Hi, yeah. ma'am. Uh, thank you so much. My name is Dr. Rakshita. Actually, after listening to the presentation of sir, he happened to mention that the same questionnaire he shared with the client on uh, three consecutive days. So my question is, wouldn't that uh, create a sort of uh, memory effect on the 
client that uh, he or she will know what question is expected. So wouldn't be affecting the end result of the assessment because usually as a psychologist, we are told that the first time is the one you would get a complete honesty from the client and they are not pre-prepped or prepared or conditioned for the uh, questioner. And uh, usually we do not share the uh, report with the client unless and then intervention also he happened to mention he makes them read and understand. So what is your take in the whole uh, thing? I'd like to know, please. Sure. Um, the assessments are usually, uh, you know, repeated after a particular period of time, like every assessment has their own particular norms. For example, uh, this particular assessment has a good sensitivity. When we talk about sensitivity, it means that this uh, assessment repeated, uh, like when we repeat it over a particular period of time, again and again, this gives us uh, valid results still. You know, there are particular, for example, personality assessments that we cannot regularly do, but there are particular assessments uh, that we can do regularly and that will yield us, uh, you know, valid results. So that is what particular sensitivity means. So I usually personally do it after two weeks. So based on the context, based on, uh, you know, uh, the situation that the individual is, uh, the clinician can use it as per, uh, you know, their judgment, because this particular uh, assessment has a good responsiveness, if it has a good sensitivity. So I personally use it after two weeks, uh, that it can be, uh, you know, repeated. So it's different than, you know, what particular, usually we say that personality assessment, we cannot repeat very um, early, like we have to wait for some time, like six months, we can wait and then, uh, you know, administer it again. But this is the kind of assessment that we can repeat. It is uh, available in the standardized, uh, because this is a standardized questionnaire. In the standardized questionnaire, how you have to uh, do it? Uh, the uh, various things the therapist has to follow. It is available, uh, Dr. Rachida, and the questionnaire, the uh, uh, statutory uh, recommendation that itself says you can use it multiple times. The same questionnaire only because the nine question, see, we cannot change in Newton's third law. Isn't it? No, sir, you do not answer? understand the question. I do understand there are set norms which I said every two weeks you need to evaluate the client based upon the therapy and the intervention we are being provided. So that's what, uh, but you happen to say that you uh, did consecutively for three days. Yeah, so my question my... to her was that, and she yeah. happened to tell that it depends upon the clinical judgment. Clinician. That's also she happened to mention. Yeah. So uh, I think it answers both. Sir. Got the point. Thank you so much. I understand all the uh, assessments and questionnaires. I have standard and uh, norms, sir. I get the point. Thank you. Actually, in my observation, in my observation, actually, I have one clinical psychologist in my office. Okay. In our judgment, the girl was very, very uh, knowledgeable girl. Okay. She is very, very knowledgeable. She was understanding what she's uh, going through and she was able to understand the therapy which I am giving. See, CBT when I gave, I understood that she is able to understand why that wristband is being used. Why that Shokmasar uh, says uh, uh, wristband, you do like this. Why he is telling? She is able to understand. She is able to understand the various uh, aspects, the therapy intervention which, uh, which we give. For example, uh, people when they want to do the uh, Jacobson uh, 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 relaxation exercise. Okay, certain people they cannot learn it immediately. But this girl, she started doing the moment I told. She uh, uh, she even uh, 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 just showed how it has to be done. Okay, that means then when I asked her how many times you did in your home, she told her three times I did. Now that gives me a clarity. Okay, whether I can uh, do it on the next day or the other. Day. So it is about the, uh, it is uh, the clinician as to decide whether, uh, what kind of interval you can take. Because I was uh, so sure that there will be some kind of improvement. When I show to the client, the client self-esteem improves. See, this test itself is to improve the life of the client. So if at all I want to improve the uh, life of the client, if the client knows that there is improvement in me through the questionnaire, okay, which she is able to see the facts and figures. See, if I'm telling, see, there is good improvement in you. If I'm telling, nah, that is assumption. Today's youth will not believe. Today's youth, they want facts and figures. Okay. If you tell something, nah, they will ask, okay, what is the, where is the fact? What is the fact? What is the figure? So you used as a method proof. of self-motivation for the client. 
Yeah, because when I show it, the uh, see uh, uh, yesterday it was here, today it is here. Psychoeducation, because when a client and goes through the questioning, the client knows what it is. Okay, then showing the report to the client, it is not a uh, it is not a a, a fault. Only certain areas we should not uh, show to the client if it is in the negative aspect, wherein the uh, self-esteem of the client will go down. Suppose uh, suicidal tendency is there and uh, uh, definitely if it is in red, if I am going on showing to the client, the client will get, isn't it? When it is in the improvement side, they will be able to uh, uh, really uh, help it. Achha, anyone else? Achha, Alaga Seogami is a student. Okay. Alaga Seogami, yes. what do you feel? Uh, Sir, I completed my report. Sir, one minute. One minute. Uh, let me go to uh, Alex Yogami. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, good evening, Ridula, ma'am, and Shiva, sir. Uh, this session was really mind blowing, and it is very um, happy to see that uh, psychological interpretations can be seen visually and as well as descriptively. Uh, I think this will be helpful for many psychologists and counselors in the forthcoming years so thank you for the wonderful session ma'am it was really wonderful thank you so much thank you very much so, uh, sir, uh, uh, so i have one question sir uh, yeah Raza. yeah Raza. Uh, uh, sir uh, like uh, what we have learned is uh, uh, as a therapist or as a psychologist the secrecy of the uh, client is very important but here what is happening by putting it on computer I am sharing that secrecy to a third party, which is a database, wherein the full information goes. So how does I, uh, as a uh, person, how can I assure my client that the data what he has filled online will remain secure? It, it will not be shared with a third, like uh, we, we already know the IT rules and all those things, the data are being shared. How, so, how does that assure very, that client? Very nice question. Raza, I will show you one minute. I will show you the website, okay. I will show you the website and I will show you one very important aspect. Okay. Very important aspect I will show you. Very important aspect I will show you. This is actually, it is in the, uh, whoever is in the computer field. Okay. They may be knowing it. See, when you go to the uh, website, okay. When you go to the website, okay. When you go to the website, okay. If you come down, Okay, if you come down, okay, you have, okay, you have the affiliations, affiliations and also the uh, uh, approvals for one minute. I yes, sure. Can you just scroll to the bottom, uh, just right at the bottom, it's there now. Bottom is there now? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Can I help answer that question? Yeah, 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 please, please go ahead. So, yeah, sir, can you close that uh, text box with, with the chat window which has come down on the, on the bottom right? Bottom. The uh, bottom right, if you can close this away from the iPad. So, Achha, basically, yeah. Uh, Raza, sir, yeah. So, yeah. So, can you close that chat window, sir? Or let me share my screen. Yeah, I will, I will just close it. Yeah. I'll, I'll share my screen. One second. So that's a very relevant question. I think uh, data privacy is one of the most important things. Uh, whenever it comes to anything, you know, medical, it's more than uh, more important than other sort of transactions which are happening on online. So here, if you come to the website, so one of the things is the way we have developed it, it is very, very secure in terms of data. So one of the most important, you know, regulations in data today across the world is HIPAA compliance. So you see this HIPAA compliant logo at the bottom. So you can click it and you can also understand like how we are actually, you know, taking care that, you know, privacy is maintained. The entire details are there. So it's the most stringent regulation. It is uh, uh, applicable in US. In addition, in uh, these, uh, the, there are two more certifications with regards to you know, privacy, which is uh, ISO 9001 and 27001. Um, we are also compliant with the, you know, there is a data bill, which is still not become a law, uh, which is there for India. So we are also compliant with that. So basically what I want to tell is all the data of the client, your own data cannot be accessed by anyone. It is stored very securely in end-to-end -end encrypted manner. So you can be very assured that this is not being shared with anyone and we are liable if that happens, if any sort of data breach happens. Even uh, it is just like how your WhatsApp, even your WhatsApp chat, nah, nobody can enter. 
nobody can enter it because it has its own uh, what do you call uh, the various uh, aspects even when you open the whatsapp group you are i am sending you a message okay so the moment i send the message uh, there will be a caption end to end inscription end to end inscription so this is uh, end to end inscription this you can see it here also even in my website also you can see uh, i will not be able to access any of the information which people give okay i will not be able to even i will not be able to access i am the one actor i will not be able to see so uh, the data privacy is uh, 100% uh, it is that uh, yeah uh, i think we are having many clinical psychologists one dr ma'am also uh, asked uh, what about students uh, students uh, yeah who is in the video yeah piana uh, piana miranda whether i am pronouncing your name properly yes sir yes sir yeah, acha okay, okay. acha uh, uh, what what is how that uh, uh, is it, uh, is, it will, will it be helpful to the students yes sir it will be very helpful to the students thank you so much ma'am for such a wonderful session which you have conducted today it was very wonderful it was very exciting and very to insightful to learn more about the to learn about the psychological assessment i have first time everybody has learned it first time Uh, about the psychological assessment so it was very insightful very wonderful it was awesome acha so uh, your learning app is isn't it payana uh, uh, or piano uh, okay yeah okay thank you very much team thank you very much to everyone uh, sir shola here yeah yeah shola please go ahead. i just wanted to know because i was trying to download that app but i was unable to do it and i'm putting the um, overseas code but still not happening because it's not accepting and i was unable to download that acha no you can uh, uh, you can do it through your uh, uh, what do you call a laptop now laptop or desktop you can just uh, uh, use it that will be uh, okay. very very easy and right, uh, you can, in any doubt any doubt you have okay uh, you have a sars number in the group you people are in the group okay in the group you are there in the group abhay sir is also there i am also there i am putting my number this is my number okay whatever doubt you have 7010702114 okay this number if you have any doubt suppose you are uh, going you are not able to do it if you are having anything you can uh, text me and we are going to come out with the complete internship the 30 days uh, now the questionnaire which we have shared na that is uh, actually one questionnaire uh, that is very uh, it is having only nine instruments there are 40 uh, psychological test some of the psychological test it is very very uh, 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 even when you are uh, administering through a paper and pencil test na interpretation is a very very difficult unless and until you are master uh, it will be it may be difficult now those aspects are uh, there in the uh, system okay we are uh, going to do a 30 day uh, program 30 day internship uh, for the students and a 30 days training program in which the complete psychological test the 40 assessments okay that we are going to try anybody who is interested they can uh, get in touch with me uh, my number i have given here 70 uh, again i am putting 7010 uh 70 i have put my number now please stay i will share with you some hundred books okay i will share with you the group uh, here okay i will do one thing uh, i just want to add one more thing yeah, sir yeah yeah sir uh, yeah we we had this psychological testing paper last time but it was so tough that the, there were lot of elements that were covered so it was very difficult to cope up with everything but uh, thanks so much to rigla ma'am and psychpack team because um it gave us a proper segregation of how to take one after other right so i took so a sample uh, guard test and it was really wonderful that it goes level by level not just everything in a complete pack so it it uh, from uh, from the client perspective uh, also it's like uh, you know segregating into layers and then focusing on each before going to the next so it's really wonderful ma'am thank you so much and thanks sir for introducing this to us Yeah, what we will do is uh, tomorrow we will do GDR tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Okay, uh, PSQ we have uh, 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 done today. 
one more assessment that is also a very beautiful assessment in the complete aspect we will uh, discuss either tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will put it in the group the group wherein you are staying that itself i will share the books okay uh, uh, 100 uh, psychology counseling books which uh, you will enjoy and whatever mridula ma'am has shown the powerful presentation that also i will share it in the group and if anybody wants to know about the 40 uh, uh, psychological assessment and the internship details you can just uh, text me uh, thank you very much uh, mridula ma'am do you like would you like to say something or uh, uh, sir yeah i just want to thank everyone who's uh, you know stayed with us today like it was really nice to talk about these things it was really nice to hear your questions as well like very very valid and uh, you know beautiful questions you've asked and thank you so much sir for uh, you know uh, sharing so many things and sharing the case study and everything so that was also really nice even as a practitioner it's really nice to hear you know all of these things and everything everything that we hear it's more information it's you know more awareness for us so thank you so much thank you everyone everyone please go to the website register yourself today okay and take the phd questionnaire and uh, try to uh, share it with your friends okay uh, ask them to fill it up you try to uh, see the report you try to see that can you tell the so that you will be able to understand more you will be able to understand more uh, abhi uh, uh, abhi uh, you can uh, you can uh, share something and finish the session sure sir yeah first of all thank you and uh, for thank you for staying and taking your time for the weekend and attending the session uh one of the things i want to tell is that like uh, before we close is that you know uh, there is a huge need of mental health professionals today and uh, everybody who is working in this field you are doing something amazing it is very noble the world needs you many of us don't share our thoughts so uh, i think we should be very proud of the all of us should be very proud of the work we are doing and i would say ki you know reach out to maximum people and my goal at at our end like the team has been working on what technology we can build shiva sir is at the end of the how can we train more and more people who can you know come into the practice and start uh, you know making their livelihood also and extending help i want to encourage you applaud you for you know the work you are doing so let's continue to do that i'm sure you know we can make a difference and change to the positive change to the world thank you so much yeah i have put the website uh, address here www.sitepack.com okay uh, that is the website please go to the website register yourself choose your friend any one of your friend or your family members or you yourself can create see if you are a student uh, create it and you can uh, share it with your friend okay your friend can uh, fill it up then you can uh, uh, just check it with the uh, friend how is that uh, she has done it okay all these aspects you will be able to get a very good uh, clear picture tomorrow or day after tomorrow again we will uh, see with uh, one more portion here the complete aspects we will put it in the group thank you very much team thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to abhay you have created something wonderful abhay for uh, the psychologist thank you from the bottom of my heart so actually much, the world needs the psychology field needs uh, technocrats like you to come into psychology so that uh, we make uh, see the, uh, uh, our life becomes very easy otherwise i have to break my head on so many aspects now there is no need to pray <laughs> everything you are uh, giving uh, very uh, easily thank you very much abhay and thank you very much mridula it was a very wonderful session and uh, team you are all really wonderful okay you, even sir. now 142 people okay 8:30 8:30 bakri uh, thank you very much uh, we will meet uh, either tomorrow or day tomorrow okay thank you very much and if anybody wants thank to know about the party day program please text me Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. 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 Yeah, team. Uh, can move uh, because we uh, 
Yeah, we will uh, uh, stay few minutes, uh, Brother Amar. Uh, Abhay, we can stay just two minutes. Yes, others sir. can leave. Others can leave. Yeah, others can leave. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, Preeti, please stay. Preeti, please stay. Uh, Preeti. Thank you, sir. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, Renu. Uh, Renu, yes, you sir. sent some message. I, uh, I, I will reply it. Okay. Uh, I didn't see them. I saw you on the Yeah, day. yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I sir. Say, I sent okay. it today. Yeah, yeah. Fatima yeah, ma'am told me that I have to give uh, on WhatsApp. That's why I sent today. Okay, okay. no problem. I will, I will, I will reply it. Okay, after the program, I will reply. Thank it. you so much, sir. Yeah. Give blessings to us. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I think that session is over. Uh, people can just move on. Okay, I will do one thing. Uh, Abhay, we will yes, end the program. Sir. Can you create a link? We will just uh, talk for a few minutes. You can create the link and share. We will join. Sure, sir. First, I'll share. I'm ending. I'm ending. You okay. can put it in our group. Okay. 